Hey, today we are going to change our PHP script a little bit because normally in this task we have only one script at the moment but if you are building some more complex app you would have more scripts because each script will be responsible for a different action. So for example if you want to log in there will be a different script, if you want to register a user it might be a different script and so on and so on it depends what action you want to you know make and in order to do it we should put all the stuff that we repeat all the time in some separate file and I don't hide it that for me to show you that it's easier to put my credentials in a separate file so you don't see it and I don't have to hide it all the time and so on. So now I will show you how to do it and how to make it all in one place. So let's create a new file. I call it maybe I save it straight away and I call it db maybe just db and dbphp I'll use php from there and I'll save it. So now we'll just copy it from here like so and I'll paste it in DB and we can just close this we don't have to close the PHP tag really now I will change those credentials and we might even add the connection to it so I will co cut it as well and put it beneath so we have everything in one place so I save it as it is and in here we can get rid of it and now we have to include it so just type include once and then we have to specify where our other script is. It will be in the same folder so we just add apostrophes and inside add the name of it so db and php and add semicolon at the end. Now I will just change those values quickly okay it was changed so now I can upload it so I open my filezilla and get my files dragged into that spot press ok and now let's check it if this is working I press play and see if I didn't make any mistake so let me generate the number and refresh it and 585545 five. let me see if this is the same yes it is so as you can see this is working and this is a good way of you know reusing your code because this is how you should structure your code along with dry method do not repeat yourself sometimes I do but I try to avoid it okay anyway I told you to we, we are going to return some values today so let's expand it a little bit and let me open our insert score PHP script and let me show you something here we've got our SQL query and beneath we've got some conditional statements which says that if connection is true and everything is fine then new record created successfully echo message so echo is like printing so it will display something or return some value and in this case it's returning our this info and if the insert query was not, not successful then we would get this error showed up so we can use this data to display it in our unity because at the moment we are displaying, let me show you, just the message that record added. But actually this is not true because we added it 
from the unity level and sometimes it might be not the case so I would prefer to get rid of it and use some message that we get from the PHP script so how to get it we will use instead of this our message we use www and then we can use download handler which will download anything that is echoed in our PHP script but we have to use text so now save it and if we run our app again let it think for a little bit so now when I press generate number if you open it you can see that new record created successfully because this is the message that was put in here so in the same way we can return or get some values from the database or from the PHP script like I don't know we can query to select something from our database and then by echoing it we can get it into the unity and this is the way we are going to use to get the highest value from our database but we are going to do it in the next video so I see you there